Women's History Month is held every March to observe the lives and achievements of women throughout the United States. This year, the African Burial Ground held an event, a talk by Roberta Washington themed A History of Black Women in Architecture. The building itself here is the Ted Weiss Federal Building. Uh, the most uh, significant thing uh, about this building is that it was not placed here uh, without protest and outcry. You see, originally there was a parking lot here in the 1980s and the federal government purchased the land from the city with the purpose of erecting this federal office building and uh, they had to conduct archaeological studies, etc. because they knew that a burial ground had existed in this area and later uh, they would dig down and find the remains of Africans, enslaved and freed, who were buried here in New York City in the 16 and 1700s. They then would start removing those remains from the ground. That led to protest and outcry. Eventually, uh, the federal government down in Washington, D.C., Congress would step in, stop the exhumation, the removal of remains. Those remains would later be studied at Howard University in Washington, D.C., returned and reburied behind the building. Today, the building is the Ted Weiss Federal Building. It houses various federal agencies, uh, which include the National Park Service. Roberto Washington is the founder of the Roberto Washington Architects PC, which has been in operation since 1983. She holds a Bachelor of Architecture from Howard University and a Master of Science in Architecture from Columbia University. Prior to starting her own firm, Ms. Washington worked as a health facility planner and designer for various New York City architectural firms and later ran a design studio for Maputo Province in Mozambique, where she designed healthcare, educational, and cultural projects. She has designed and acted as project director for many new and renovated housing projects, schools, and health facilities. Sometimes uh, women, like black folks in general, are always thinking that we have to be overachievers to get whatever. It's not always true, but at the same time, sometimes it can, it can happen. And I think that being positive and just determining that, uh, and having a support system and determining that there's something that you want to do so badly that you will do what it takes is what's required. The contribution of all black women in America, I think that um, there are various fields uh, like architecture where women have um, tried to go beyond the regular boundaries to find ways to achieve what they wanted to do. So if they wanted to become architects, um, sometimes they knew that, uh, like in the case of one woman who sent out uh, 29 uh, resumes and never got any interviews but continued to um, try and continued to think positively. Um, she was in the end able to achieve more than what you normally expect uh, any woman in architecture to do. Well, as I stated earlier, March is observed annually in the United States as Women's History Month. And when conceiving a program idea, I thought of someone who would be local from the New York City area, yet someone who would be most deserving. Then I didn't have to go far <laughs> because I realized the importance of recognizing uh, women, outstanding women of African descent, especially those who are here at home and Roberta Washington did a wonderful job in designing the African Burial Ground National Monument Visitor Center so I thought it only appropriate to pay tribute to her by asking her to come back home and give a wonderful and powerful lecture about women in architecture. Two percent of the black architects are women and two percent of all of the architects in the country are black. Right? Wow. So the black, the percentage of black architects in the in the 
ocean of them all. So out of 105,000, uh, 1,900 are, are black. So that's like your 2%, you know? Uh, at the same time, the uh, percentage of black women um, in terms of how many black women are there in the country is 0 0.02. So they're very, so we're very small, we're very small minority and it's um, belonging to two disadvantaged groups. And so it's really amazing to think that there are there are even 280 of us, you know, because you have to think that you're doing something that no one else that you know, um, that you know have done is doing, right? So I think that that's a challenge, and I think that that's something that people are interested in in knowing about, because it's inspiring to know that others did it. So that was the point of the lecture, is to know. I think that people who want to become architects, maybe it's like people who want to become uh, anything a little different, um, are determined and have their own reasons for wanting to do it and are not turned off by uh, what uh, what the difficulties are, you know? So if they're 2%, the thing is you want to know who they are. <laughs> and you want a chance to be able to use them as inspiration. You know? uh, but just the fact that there's very few of anything, because think about it, throughout the life of black folks in this country, right? Um, there's always been like fewer than you would expect in every area. So if we took that seriously and were discouraged by that, then there'd be no reason to even wake up <laughs> every day. So we obviously don't take it seriously that it's a, such a small number and that we think that we can do it because we see somebody else doing it and so we think it's possible. Well, <laughs> it's, it's kind of quick, you know, because we have months for everything. You know, we have Black History Month and we have have the Women's History Month, and there are months and periods that are good for other groups to celebrate. But I think that Women's History Month is um, is kind of it's an excuse for um, celebrating the fact that women do do hold up half the sky, as they say, and and that we never. Um, get the recognition. Now the sad part is that, okay, so the, it, you are recognized during Women's Month, but the very sad part is that that's maybe the only time you are <laughs> recognized. And so we need to make sure that uh, what we're doing in, in Black History Month is, um, and, and in Women's History Month, are um, things that uh, can at least carry us for a year because that's the next time we'll be talking about how wonderful or how great some black folks or some women were. So I think we need more of it. Women's History Month, to me, it's an accumulation, a conglomerate of accomplishment and achievement women's rights, women's achievements, women's accomplishments are acknowledged each day. But to have a month set aside here in this country where everyone can focus upon the achievements of women is outstanding. I applaud the various uh, activities and special programs uh, which have uh, been created for this month, not only throughout the National Park Service, but throughout the city, the state, and all around the world. And I look forward to another Women's History Month celebration. The contribution of black women is widely neglected, but with events like this, the public is widely informed on the achievement that black women have made culturally in the United States and throughout the world. Fatima Sese, Sahara Reporters.